Steve Quick here for Rogers Music Promotions, and I've got on the line here with me Eric Lewis. And of course, Eric Lewis is our good buddy up in uh, Missouri that uh, has been and had the uh, group, the New Kentucky Colonels, for 36 years. And how you doing, Eric? Oh, I'm doing terrific. How are you, Steve? All doing great down here in Tennessee. We've had some wet weather, but we have warm days, and then we have uh, cool nights and uh, things of that nature. I guess your weather's about the same up there, too, right? Well, it's about the same. You know, it went a long ago until we kind of got put it out up here, and then we're kind of glad that there's some dry weather, you know, for a Right. Well, uh, you're uh, saying this is uh, your third, sixth year of your group, the uh, Kentucky, uh, New Kentucky Colonels. And of course. Uh, well, I started the group, uh, you know, 36 years ago in 1981. Right. But, uh, uh, you know, we originally started out in Southern Missouri Bluegrass, and then uh, uh, in 2000. And and uh, six, the governor of Kentucky, you know, he commissioned me a Kentucky colonel, so we started in uh, looking as new Kentucky colonel, and uh, we travel across the country by that name, and we're getting pretty well known, you know, by everybody by that name. Right. Well, I'll tell you, you know, last year was a great honor for me to get to be uh, an honorary Kentucky colonel, of course, along with uh, Roger Wood Sr. and uh, several others that uh, made that grade. And I'll tell you, it's just uh, it's uh, it's 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 a really good feeling to, to be recognized by uh, folks uh, about being uh, just a, an all-around good person, and that 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 means a lot. And I appreciate you, Eric, for uh, uh, you know uh, nominating me and uh, getting me to be a part of the Kentucky Colonels, as far as the uh, honorary end of it goes. Yes, and as you say, there's you know it is an honorary. Uh, thing, you know, and uh, uh, the governor of Kentucky, you know, he, you know, he commissions people as a Kentucky colonel if they, you know, help promote the ideals of music and things that come with well, Kentucky, and there's uh, people all over the world that is uh, Kentucky colonels, but uh, uh, it was a great honor for me to get to be a Kentucky colonel, and uh, and so I try to promote that name where it go, you know, and right. uh, uh, we uh, we travel across the U.S. at all kinds of events, but uh, as we were talking about, uh, this year is the 36th anniversary, and, uh, and me and my group are going to be, uh, there's a place called Willow Springs, Missouri, about 24 miles north of where I live, and uh, at the Star Theater on Main Street, and uh, we plan on having a big celebration. Uh, we'll start at 7 o'clock there. Okay, and what date? What date? Ready. What date's that on? It's going to be on June the 10th. That's two weeks from today. All righty. And, uh, and as I said, we're going to have some great guests. Of course, uh, uh, Judy Haney there, a friend from North Carolina. Uh, she writes songs. She's also a Kentucky Colonel. And, and, uh, me and her, we're going to start doing some duet singing together. And uh, then I got a lady at Batesville, Arkansas. She's a Nashville songwriter. Her name's Debbie Cochran. She's also a Kentucky Colonel, and she will be there. And we got a gentleman that lives uh, about 30 miles from me at a place called Alton, Missouri, and he's a fantastic songwriter and a steel player. So he's going to be there. And uh, we'd like to invite, uh, you know, anybody from your area, if they would uh, like to uh, come and help us celebrate 36 years, you know, to come and join us for that night. All righty, sounds great, uh, Eric. Uh, I would like to come if I could. I am going to try to, if I can, to try to make the thing in August that you're having there with the uh, uh, George D. Hay Days, or George D. Hay Society. Would you like to elaborate a little bit about that? Yes, uh, in August the 19th, uh, the third Saturday of August each year, we have an induction ceremony at STARS into a whole lot of George D. Hay was founded at the Grand Ole Opry. And uh, he got his inspiration about uh, 20, 25 miles south of where I live, a little place called Old Town, Missouri, at a cabin hold down. So we, we got a Hall of Honor museum. And, uh, and in fact, uh, this year, I think this is 10 years since I, I founded the organization, and they decided they're going to induct me along with Carter Stanley and, and our uh, 
He was my original media chart player and our second vice president. His name is Denver Hoskins, and he's from Kentucky, but he's been in North Carolina, not too far from Judy Haney, and he's moved back here. He's going to start playing the guitar back for me. Then we got another gentleman that's been in the used to be in Stone Town, Eastern Missouri, and his name is Leland Martin. Leland Martin. And, those, and we also give what we call, there were three musicians right there, uh, playing at that hoedown. So we give a uh, we give people, uh, you know, local people, not just right here, but, you know, across the country, uh, what we call the Old Sarge Cabin Award to commemorate those three people playing that hoedown. So I'd like to invite everybody to, to come for that, you know, on August 19th, too, and to help us celebrate our 10th year, you know, for the George D. Hayes Society. You know, a lot of people on George D. Hay, uh, you know, some of the young folks may not understand that he is, uh, when the Grand Ole Opry would open up, he would use kind of like an old foghorn and make that old foghorn sound, and he'd holler, uh, you're listening to the Grand Ole Opry, let her go, boys. Isn't that what he'd say? <laughs> right, and, and you know, uh, uh, that was uh, that was uh, called an Im imitation steamboat whistle. Oh, yeah. Okay, and, uh, I knew what that was. Right, and uh, and he would blow that. It sounded kind of like a steamboat, you know. Right. But uh, he was instrumental in uh, helping a lot of people's careers get right. started, you know, through the Grand Ole Opry over the years. Right. Well, I'll tell you, Eric, it's just uh, great to talk to you always. And, uh, of course, uh, love to get up there on June the 10th. And uh, once again, you want to tell where that uh, park or theater is that uh, you're going to be having that well, on June the 10th? It's going, it's going to be uh, in Willow Springs, Missouri. That's about uh, 24 miles north of West Plain, Missouri there. It's on the main street. And uh, they had a fire, and they just completely refurbished the theaters really nice. And uh, we're going to have a show uh, there. Of course, uh, we got quite a bit of expense there, so you know our tickets for our show is going to be $10. But you got a great evening, you know. Oh, yeah, uh, a lot of good stars, yeah. Right. And then, uh, uh, then our, our George C. Hayes Society, you know, we have our induction ceremony in the same, same place. And they can get information, uh, you know, if they'd like to contact me uh, at uh, my number is 417-293-3367. And also, uh, we got a website, KentuckyKernels.com. I don't have information, and, and then uh, there's George D. Hay Society dot homestead dot com, and those are the, the websites, you know, for information that they can go on there and see all the things that's going on. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, it's uh, well worth it. You guys sound great. In fact, uh, to remind the listeners that uh, back last Christmas, you had a uh, uh, CD that got up uh, a lot of good airplay during the Christmas season. Uh, Christmas time's coming, that song. And, of course, uh, 36 years of doing, uh, uh, you know, being out there on the road and uh, making it happen, that's, uh, that's uh, commendable. And uh, you guys, uh, 36 years is, is a good time there. And, of course, the Kentucky Colonel's a uh, well-known and well-respected uh, band and group. And, of course, the singers that's going to be with you, that's going to really enhance everything. So it's going to be really good. Well, Eric, I do appreciate you talking to me. And, uh, and uh, I told Roger Woods that uh, we'd get uh, back with you and uh, find out what's going on. So uh, best of luck out there for you on uh, June the 10th. And uh, we'll be listening for bigger and better things from you. Okay, well, I appreciate it, Steve. And thanks for having me there today. All righty, you're listening there to Eric Lewis, a member of the Kentucky Colonels, which celebrates 36 years here on Rogers Music Promotions. Tennessee, and I won't be home anymore. If you're gonna do the 
crime Then you've got to do the time That's why they build prison cells If you're going to play with fire Then you're going to get burned Can't blame nobody but yourself And I won't be home anymore When the world was held in darkness And evil was supreme God said, suffer not my children I am sending you a king They expected a mighty army To crush evil and bring joy Instead of a mighty army He sent one humble boy He's the greatest story ever told How God came down and left Heaven's throne He came in a man called Jesus Gave his life to save our soul For all time's sake Let's just get away Let's take a memory ride to clear our minds For all time's sake, let's pretend I'll be her and you'll be him Back in love again Before Together uh... 